Take a look. This is Dr. Willis Carrier, the father of cool. His face may not seem familiar, his name may not ring a bell, but 110 years ago, this man invented the world's first mechanical air conditioner. Willis Carrier had a new idea and dared to dream big, and by doing so, he literally changed the world. Now, here's a look back. The story of a company that became the standard of an industry. At the history of air conditioning on the invention's 110th anniversary, all in 110 seconds. It began with paper at this Brooklyn printing plant in 1902. Each time they ran the paper through the press to put a new color on, if the paper had shrunk or enlarged because of humidity, the color registry would be off. From the very beginning, air conditioning had international appeal. Comfort cooling is important, but the productivity benefits of air conditioning are often underestimated. And air conditioning allows other industries to be possible. It's really changed the way we've lived. In the early days, air conditioners primarily cooled machines, not people, from candy manufacturers to textile mills and pharmaceutical labs. The breakout decade for modern air conditioning was the 1920s, the roaring 20s, because that's when it first made it to offices, to department stores, and to movie theaters. And that has since created for all of us the summer blockbuster. By 1955, one in 22 American homes had some form of air conditioning. Just five years later, that number had quadrupled to one in five. Today, 87% of all U.S. households have air conditioning. If you look beyond the United States to places like Singapore, the Mideast, where there are tropical temperatures, the population there and their global political impact has also been profoundly influenced by air conditioning. Now, whenever the mercury rises, we push back. And in the new millennium, 110 years after the historic installation of modern air conditioning, the prospects for Willis Carrier's invention have never looked so promising. It allows us to be productive in our offices. It allows us to be comfortable in our homes. It allows us to be healthy in our hospitals. And so it's a technology that will continue for years and years and years because it enables us to live our lives in ways that we are now accustomed to and would never go back.